Speaking of the Chiefs, these guys just keep finding ways to win no matter how difficult the circumstances. Um, that or yep. the refs had them in a parlay. Uh, you infamously okay. predicted the Chiefs it's going so <laughs> going twenty and zero last year. Uh, do you think it's possible that you were just a year early on that prediction? No, I don't think they're going to go undefeated. Uh, but here's what I do think, and I'll be quick. Uh, listen, if you want to bitch about the refs, if that's how, if you're if you're going to have your mind warped by the by the anonymous Twitter accounts and the stupid Twitter algorithm that just feeds you missed calls. And act like that same feed is not showing you that on the Falcons touchdown drive, it, they it was extended after a third and long incompletion. There was a phantom roughing the passer penalty. Or if you want to act like we didn't see last year the single most egregious missed defensive pass interference penalty of the season happen in the Packers Chiefs game that Demonze, you and I watched from Wayne's house in Los Angeles. And if you want to act like we didn't just see a damn Monday night football game last night, we're on a critical two point conversion. The exact type of pass interference that was committed uh, by the Chiefs with four minutes left was committed in by Washington in the end zone there. Those calls get missed. And lastly, if you want to pretend that if they had called that pass interference, and then if Cincinnati had scored, I'm sorry, if Atlanta had scored and gone up by either one or let's, you know, and if they got the two point conversion, that you really believe in your heart of hearts that Patrick Mahomes getting the ball back down three with four minutes left means, oh, the Falcons were going to win, then go ahead, live your life that way. I think it's a dumb way to, pro to consume sports. I also think this, the Chiefs haven't played a great game. They played pretty well for most of the Baltimore game. They played poorly against Cincinnati. They had moments against Atlanta. Mahomes hasn't had a great season. He played really well, save one pass against Baltimore, played terribly against Cincinnati, was hit or miss against Atlanta. Travis Kelsey hasn't done anything. Isaiah Pacheco is out injured. All of these things are true. They have also had one of preseason rankings-wise the hardest schedule of anyone to open the season. They haven't played well, incredibly hard schedule, dealing with injuries, and they're undefeated. And so here's the thing about the Chiefs. They don't lose. It might not be pretty. It might not be the way you're used to it. But you take every other. We did this yesterday on the show. The next, the biggest Super Bowl contenders, right? So who Vegas thinks the best teams are after the Chiefs. Niners, Bills, Eagles, Ravens, Lions, Texans, Cowboys. Since the Chiefs last lost, because the Chiefs have won nine in a row, those... Seven teams, is that seven, two, those six teams, pardon me. Oh, and the Bengals, include them in that. Those seven teams are 26 and 22, while the Chiefs are 9-0. and oh. and I say that to say this, like, other teams lose, and the Chiefs have this crazy ability not to lose, which is what makes them great. And unless they have to play a Chiefs team of a previous era, comparing them to previous Chiefs teams is kind of foolish. Against today's NFL, we'll see what the Bills turn into. Right now they look great. The Chiefs also have a decided massive psychological edge over Buffalo, and we'll see how that plays out. But no one else in the league is within spitting distance of this team. The Bengals are falling apart. The Texans haven't looked good on both sides of the ball once all year. Week one, the offense looked great. The defense looked terrible. Week two, the defense looked excellent. The offense looked mediocre. Week three, they looked bad in both spots. The Niners are falling apart. The Eagles might have the single most clueless coach in the league today. 
the the Lions. Jared Goff is Jared Goffing a bit lately. The Ravens are hanging on by a thread. There's nobody out there. The Bills have my attention and my respect. Everybody else, you're playing for a bronze medal. And so say all you want about the Chiefs and how lucky they are. It's crazy how the team with the best quarterback, the best coach, most well-prepared, most well-rounded roster, they're also the luckiest. It's crazy how that works out. But we'll see you in January when the games actually matter for Kansas City when they finish the year around 14-3. and three. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts or just click the link in the description below.